Hey what's going on guys my name is Jim Fahad in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create this amazing profile card using Elementor page builder. So initially the image will look like this and when you hover over on this card the image will move to the right side also the image will become bigger and on the left all these elements will be visible. Then when we will move our cursor out of this box the image will go back to its initial position also the left contents will be invisible. Here's really a creative card effect. I will show you how to make this card effect using Elementor page builder. And also I will show you how to make it responsive for tablet device and mobile device. So without further ado, let's now go inside Elementor page builder. So let's first take a section by clicking on this plus icon and I'm taking this structure. Let's first give it a height. I'm taking a minimum height and let's make it 100 VH. Now inside this middle column here, I'm dragging an inner section. Then let's delete one column inside of this inner section. Now we only have one column inside of this inner section. All right, now I wanna give this inner section a height. So from here minimum height and I'm setting it to 350 pixel. Also from here make the column gap to no gap. Now let's give this inner section a background color. So from under style tab, I wanna give it a gradient background color. So select the gradient. Now the first color, let's make it hash D41A31 and then the secondary color from here that's hash 491F8F and then here the angle I'm setting it to 150. Alright now let's add some content inside of this column. So first click on this plus icon and here I'm dragging an heading widget. Now I want it to say Jim Fahad. Go under its style tab and I'm making the text color to white color. Also do a bit style with the typography. I'm making the font size to third pixel and here font weight to 700. Now underneath this heading here I'm dragging a text editor widget. Now here I just wanna make its color to the white color. And then underneath this paragraph I'm just dragging a button widget here. To make the color synced, just go under style tab and from here the background color I'm setting it to white and the text color let's make it black color. Alright. Now I wanna make all this content vertically aligned so click on this column icon and from here the vertical align I'm making it middle. But still I'm not pretty happy with their inner spacing. So first select the heading and go under its advanced tab. From here unbind the margin and let's set it in percentage. On the right side you know I will be adding an image. So here on the right side I'm adding 40% of margin and on the left let's add 7% margin. Let's now do the same with this paragraph. So go under its advanced tab, unbind the margin. Also let's make it in percentage. On the right side let's add 40% and on the left 7%. Do the same with this button widget. Go under its advanced tab, unbind the margin, make it in percentage. On the right side, make it 40% and left, make it 7%. But still, I wanna adjust the spacing with this paragraph, so let's select it. On the top, let's add minus 2% margin and on the bottom, I'm adding minus 5%. Now it looks perfect. Okay, now I wanna add the image widget underneath this button. So let's click on this Ruby's Cube icon and here I'm dragging the image widget underneath this button here. All right, let's now select the image from here. I'm selecting this PUBG character image. I will also put this image download link in the description. Let's now click on insert media and here we go. So the first thing I want to do from here, make the image size to full. Also, let's set the alignment to centered. Now go under its style tab and from here the width let's set it in pixel. Now I'm giving it 30 pixel of width. Alright so at this point it's looking like it. Now I wanna add the main scale and move effect. I will be adding the move and scale effect using custom CSS. So to apply that make sure you are selecting this inner column. Now go under its advanced tab and from there open the custom CSS tab. By the way, custom CSS is only available on Elementor Pro. I will put my Elementor Pro affiliate link in the description. If you purchase Elementor Pro through the affiliate link, you don't have to pay any extra, but I will get a little commission for that. That will help me to continue this YouTube channel and make more interesting tutorials like this.
all right let's now write the custom css inside this field or you can just simply go to jimfahaddigital.com i will put this pages link in the description from that page if you scroll down a bit here you can see image scale and move css just copy this css snippet from here go inside elementor and paste the css snippet here all right now let me explain the css code it's very simple but before that let's have a look here if we now hover over on this card the image is becoming bigger and also it's moving to the right side so if we have a look on this css snippet here you can see first i have set the image position to absolute that's why it's now at this place and then here you see i have written image move on hover i have set the left position to 40 percent that's why when i hover over on the card the image moves 40 percent from the left now here instead of 40 percent if i set it to 70 percent now hover over on it you see it now moves more that's 70 percent but i don't want that i'm keeping it initial 40 percent so it's looking like it and then if you have a close look you see the image is also becoming bigger when you hover over on the card and that bigger size is coming from here i set the width to 330 pixel let's say if i write here 430 pixel let's now hover over on the card you see the image is becoming more bigger but here instead of 430 let's make it to the initial 330 pixel to me it looks perfect all right now i want to do another interesting thing that is initially i want to make all these contents this jim fahad this paragraph and this button i want to make them all initially invisible and when you hover over on it the image goes to the right side then these contents will be visible so to do that we need to apply some more css snippet just go to jimfahaddigital.com scroll down and here you will find content hide and show css just copy this css snippet from here go inside elementor now underneath our existing css i'm hitting enter a couple more time to make some spaces and here paste the css code but you see nothing is happening here why is that because i have set the css if you have a look it will be applied only the contents that have the v content class with it that's why i'm just copying the class name that's v dash content now first select the heading from under advanced tab here you will find the css classes let's paste here the v dash content class name you see the heading is vanished already now let's do the same with this paragraph here is the css class let's add the v content class also same with this button here is the css classes just paste the css class name here here you go so initially we cannot see any content here on the left but now if we hover over on the card we see these contents are appearing on the left side so again click on this inner column from under advanced tab if we open the custom css you see i have written the custom css on that way here you can see with the v content class initially i have set their opacity to zero that's why right now we cannot see the left content and then on hover i made the opacity to one that's why when you hover over on it the left contents opacity becoming one that's why we can see it cool now before making it mobile and tablet responsive let's do a bit of styling with this inner section so just select the inner section from here from under its style tab let's open the border because i want to add some border radius let's add 30 pixel of border radius now you see the corners are becoming rounded also add some box shadow from here so first here i'm adding the horizontal value to 5 vertical to 5 and then the blur to 25 right now it looks much better all right let's now have a look how it's looking on mobile and tablet device so from here just click on responsive mode first let's go to the tablet device okay so on the tablet device it's looking great if you want you can keep it like this but here i wanna change a little bit because i cannot read this text properly now only for tablet device i wanna apply some custom css so again click on this inner column section i mean inner column then from under advanced tab open the custom css okay now go to jimfahaddigital.com and from here you can see tablet device css just copy this css snippet from here go inside elementor 
then right after our existing CSS, first I'm just making some space and then paste the CSS snippet. So first here you can see I have set the maximum width to 1024 pixel. That means whatever CSS I have written inside, it will only be applicable on tablet devices. So here instead of becoming the image bigger on hover, I make the image smaller on hover. You see, when I hover over on it, the image is becoming smaller. That's why we can read the text properly from the left side. If you wanna make this image more smaller, you can do that from here. So I have set the width to 280 pixel. If you wanna make it more smaller, let's say 250 pixel. So now if we hover over on it, the image is becoming more smaller on tablet device. Cool. Let's now go to mobile device by clicking on this mobile icon. So now similar like the tablet device, if you want you can reduce the image width more. But on the mobile device, I wanna make it more user friendly. Because you know, on mobile device, there is no hover effect. So again, for the mobile device, I'm adding some custom CSS. Let's just go to Jim Fahad Digital again. And from here, you will find the mobile device CSS. Let's just copy this CSS snippet from here. Now go inside Elementor. Right after our existing CSS, I'm just hitting enter a couple more time to make some spaces. Then paste the CSS snippet here. Okay, here I'm again explaining the CSS code that I have written only for mobile device. First here you can also see I have set the maximum width to 767 pixel. So whatever CSS I have written inside of this, it will only be applicable on mobile device only. So first here you can see I have set the V content, that means these contents, the heading, the paragraph, the button, they are opacity to 1. So on mobile device they will be visible initially. Actually on mobile device I don't wanna make anything hidden. I wanna make everything visible at the first glance. Also you may remember on the desktop view we have set the image position to absolute but on mobile device I removed that so here I made the position to unset. And then also if you want you can adjust the mobile image width from here. So on mobile device I have set the width to 200 pixel. If you want you can make it to 300. So you see it's now becoming bigger but I wanna keep it to 200 pixel on mobile device. Alright but I think I need to customize this portion because to me it's looking odd. Okay so let's first select this heading. First remove all the margins that we have set for the desktop. So for the mobile device just remove the margin by clicking on this unlink and go to its content tab. On mobile device I wanna make its alignment to centered. Let's do the same with this paragraph on mobile device unbind its margin and let's make its alignment to centered. Do the same with this button, unlink the margin on mobile device then go under content tab. From here I'm making the alignment to centered for mobile device. But here again I wanna do some work with this paragraph. So go under its advanced tab. Only for mobile device let's make the margin. So here I'm making the margin top to minus 10 pixel and bottom let's make it minus 25 pixel. Right now it's looking great but we need to add some space at the top left and right. So we can do that together by selecting on this inner section. Go under its advanced tab. From here unbind the padding. Again I'm selecting the percentage, first on the top let's add 15%, then left and right let's add 7%. Cool! So right now it's looking great on mobile device, then if we go back to the tablet device, it's looking great, the hover effect is working perfectly, and then let's now go back to the desktop view, it's looking great, and we hover over on it, the hover effect is looking perfect. Alright, let's close the responsive view. And never ever forget to click on this green update button to save your work. I hope you have learned something new today. If you like it, please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe this YouTube channel. Also press on that notification bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever I will upload a new video on this YouTube channel. Also if you want me to help you on your WordPress project or Elementor project, then you can contact me through my website that's jimfahaddigital.com. I will try my best to help you personally. Once again, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I will see you on the next video. For now, bye-bye.